So we are talking about The Monster, a 2016 creature feature directed and written by Brian Bettino. Now this is a very simple story at its core. It basically focuses on a mother and her young teenage daughter as they are traveling along a quiet country road. They get in an accident and uh, they're not alone. There is something lurking in the shadows which has ill intent against them. Will they survive? Will anyone else come to help them? You'll have to watch the movie to find out. So what are my thoughts on the monster? I have to say, I thought maybe this movie was going to be a, um, like a metaphor for something. And there is a, a lot of kind of flashbacks in this movie, uh, kind of with monstrous parenting skills, shall we say. Um, but I have to say, that at its core, this is a very simple film, which is both a credit and a detriment at the same time. A credit because I feel it kind of maybe trims away a lot of the kind of the fact that sometimes you have on these films, unnecessary, unnecessary kind of like B-plots and things like that. But at the same time, it is kind of... Um, not all that a deeper film even though I think it tries to be in certain areas particularly with the flashbacks so let's get into a little bit more detail I have to say we'll go to the positives first of all the first thing for me I actually thought the acting was pretty decent in this movie uh, across the board and particularly though from the young actress who plays the kind of the young teenage girl I thought she did a very credible job here of making a, a believable character who really does come from a place of, of torment where she's kind of been witness to you know some some degree of cruelty when she's been growing up and that but still has a kind of a good heart at the, at the, at the end of the day so I thought the performances were very good so my hats off to really all the actresses but obviously the kind of the two leads uh, uh definitely deserve kind of big praise here because they thought that the acting was fantastic here and I have to say this does a quite a good job of building suspense obviously we don't see the, the creatures first of all we see something lurking in the shadows and I think there's some good uh, direction here building the suspense kind of you know playing with your anticipation basically as things kind of happen off screen and we, we get mere hints at what is lurking in the shadows and I thought all oh, that was good great cinematography Creature effects itself, I kind of liked it, I've got to say. It reminded me very much of the terror dogs from the movie Ghostbusters, original movie, of course. Um, it is just a man in a suit, and, then, and as we go later on in the film, I think that kind of... It shows a little bit too much, and you can clearly see it's just a man sort of crouching in a suit. But when we see part of it and stuff, it kind of does look really look like those sort of terror dogs, minus the big horns. So I quite like that. What didn't I like about this film... I have to say that I think the flashbacks went a little bit OTT and went on for a bit too much time, I felt, and, and really served not a huge purpose. I thought they could have been sort of trimmed down a little bit. And it does fall into some kind of derivative genre cliches as well. But overall, I have to say, I think that this is a decent entry into the sort of creature feature uh, plethion of movies. And I have to say, I kind of quite like the performances. I thought the story was simple but effective, uh, with some reasonable effects. And, you know, a, a quite interesting uh, uh, pair of characters, basically, that I felt quite well defined. So the majority of the criticisms that I have for this one are all, I would say, on the minor side compared to the positivity of the rest of this film so overall i would recommend this film i'd give this movie a 7 out of 10 have you seen the monster what did you think of it leave us a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now